Welcome to Modern Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First, episode 270, Monday, 11th day of June 2018. My name is uh, Dr. Jerry the First, Oguzi. I have a question for you. Are you struggling internally? Are you torn between the life you have and the life you want? He switched from taking the proven path of corporate law to the scary life of being a dedicated artist. He was probably on track to being one of the top players around because of the cases he was involved in. He was working on Wall Street, huge cases, corporate law, loss of money, loss of potential upside. But then the market collapsed. Me and the big shot had a good week, he said. How? It didn't make sense. Everyone was drowning. People were killing themselves. There was no work. There wasn't 100 hours of work available, he said. So, he started writing. He dedicated himself to this, his dream, but still held on to his job. It was like a gift from the gods of career changes. A gift most people don't get. So how did he switch? How did he commit to leaving his job? And how did he make the next phase work for him? Here are things he said. One, don't get so deep. That's hard, but that's what he said. I don't think I got so deep into law, he said. That's just one part of it. He was new to the business, fresh out of law school, and already ready to quit. That science showed itself early. I think the longer we wait, the harder it is to take action on our own heart's desires. 2. Figure out who you want to win. He was in battle with himself. He felt it all through law school because his first writing experience was back in high school when he had to fulfill an arts credit. And the only class that fit his schedule was directing theater. That class just wound up being incredibly meaningful for me, he said, and led to me doing some plays in high school and led me actually thinking about theater as a life when I went to college. I spent all of law school kind of in this battle with myself. Do I want to be pursuing something more in the arts and entertainment field, or do I want to be here in law? He analyzed this argument from every angle. He even asked himself if it was reasonable to be an artist in this political climate. And I'm sure people are asking themselves that question right now. It's an age-old question. Am I good enough to be happy? He finally decided yes, and he took the economy falling apart to make it happen. Sometimes we don't see our, our potential until we are forced to, but it helps to at least look at the questions you're asking yourself. Should I quit my job? Should I this or should I that? The questions point the way like a compass in a confused mind we see through. Three. Don't let money stop you. Okay, this one is really hard. Especially if you have kids and a mortgage. He was really young when he started considering a writing career. But he noticed something about the people around him. And it stopped him from going forward for years. I realized other people who were going to go live the artist's life were vastly wealthier than me, he said. So he switched courses. Fear got to him. And then law became the next step. Every now and then, he had a reminder of his dream of being a writer. And finally, when he couldn't hold on again to the tiny fractions and fabrics of law practice, he followed his dream. The internal struggle is when you feel torn between the life you already live in and the life you actually want. And you can do something about it, really. You can change the direction of your life if you are not comfortable with the life you are living right now. And it is never too late to get to what you really want, what your heart beats 
extra hard for and what you will find joy, happiness, and fulfillment in. So just like Adam, the man I described in this text, found his life as a writer after being in corporate law, you can also, if what you're doing presently does not fulfill, no, does not make you get fulfilled, feel fulfilled, if you are losing sleep because of what you're doing presently, if you are not happy because of what you're doing, even though you have to provide meals and bring food to the table, there's always an opportunity to make a change. So today I advise you, go do it. Until I come your way again, this is Morning Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First. This program is powered by Top Top Media and Communication Nigeria. All rights reserved. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. It would please us to no end if you continue to visit our podcast. And so to be able to do that, kindly click on the red subscribe button towards your right to subscribe to our channel. In the same vein, also click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can always receive the notification for any new podcast we upload. Also give us a thumb up to like this podcast. These help us to grow. And do help us share the podcast to your friends in the different social media sites you belong to. Click on the share tab just below the podcast and share directly from there. The full text of this podcast is on our blog. And would you want to read it, kindly visit the blog. We have a Facebook page where we also post our podcast on a daily basis. If you're on Facebook, kindly like our Facebook page. The links to our blog and our Facebook page are in the description box right below. Thank you for your attention. Do have a very nice day.